Hello there. I'm on my Carver 2013 C34 down by the Dumbarton Bridge on the San Francisco Bay fishing. Fishing for sharks. And I, and I thought I'd show you guys what the new C34 looks like in use. Uh, this particular one is the first one on the left coast. Hole number four. And I put uh, Lawrence uh, chart plotter, GPS, uh, radar, etc. Two 12 inch screens. That way I can have fish on one and chart on the other, and, or do a split screen radar chart fish. Uh, so I'll give you a tour of the boat. Uh, right there is the train trestle just south of the Dunbarton Bridge. It's a nice Sunday. Perfect day to go out and fish. That's what I'm doing. There's my fishing pole. My life raft. I took the, uh, the pads out here. This is supposed to be a place to sunbathe. Well, fuck that. And, uh, go downstairs, this cockpit. I put that barbecue in. Use it every night. Here's the inside of the boat. I bought this boat sight unseen based on, um, U.S. boat, no, is it U.S. boat or uh, boats test boatstest.com? That's what it was. Those guys pretty much sugarcoat everything because they're owned by the boating industry. I made some assumptions that uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't have made. One was that they're still using uh, real hardwoods, and they are not, not on the C series boats. Um, what looks like wood is actually what's called a foil finish. It's kind of a shrink wrap. A uh, nice thing about it is it takes no maintenance and it'll last 15 to 20 years. You can beat the crap out of it and never hurt it. Uh, but when it starts to go, what it does is it peels off. And uh, once it starts doing that, you've just got to replace it. And uh, the thing is filled with vinyl. This is all vinyl, plastic, more padded vinyl. It looks good. Uh, very easy to maintain. Uh, kind of a Corian uh, countertop. I'm going to have some cabinets built here because there's very little storage space on this thing. They wanted to keep it open and airy. They did a good job, um, but uh, there's a lack of cabinets because of it. There's the galley and the TV. Uh, it would have been really nice if they put in a full-size sink, which they didn't. The double burner works great. Love it. Um, fridge, small, but uh, holds a lot, and it's a nice little fridge. I like it. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about with these cabinets. You can see there's melamine on the inside, the inside of the drawer. There's also melamine. And then here's the foil finish, which is just shrunk, heat, heat shrunk on, on, onto the, uh, I assume, uh, marine plywood. Got everything on the floor because I'm uh, out on the bay today. Uh, but I don't put it there, it'll end up there anyways. Okay, so here's the head. The door, you know, it's heavy. So if it's not marine ply, it's uh, just a very dense press board covered with a foil finish. I hope it's a marine ply. 
because if water ever gets into press board, it's gone. They did a nice job on the bathroom. Uh, the toilet works great. It's awesome. Um, the faucet's awesome. Everything works very nice. And there's the medicine cabinet. There I am. And uh, here's the shower. A little skylight there. Uh, the shower uh, is awesome. You know, the hot water heater is, works great. All the systems on the boat, air conditioning, heating, uh, work very well. Um, the windlass works very good. The master bedroom. Tried to tone it down and got rid of about 50 pillows and kept the, my favorite three. And uh, here's a closet. Put these in because there's just no um, dresser drawers here. Got a TV <clears throat> behind this door. There's the vent. When the AC's on or the heat, man, it just blows. If this place cools down or heats up, uh, depending on what you're trying to do, very quickly. Got a mirror on the door. Got three lockers. Portholes. These guys open. Made the mistake of leaving one open the other day when I was leaving the same spot and uh, just soaked the carpets in uh, salt water. That was pretty stupid. Uh, here's an extra room. So, um, you know, if you want to put the kids somewhere, this is where. Turn on the light. I use it for storage. It's got these little lights here that work nicely. All the portholes open. And uh, you've got this vinyl everywhere. This is melamine, vinyl. It's just melamine and vinyl everywhere. Very low maintenance boat. Uh, we'll see how well it holds up. So, uh, anyways, um, I think that's about it. This, oh, this couch. I put these uh, throw rugs on the couch. That white is just going to get filthy. Um, and they've put these uh, light beige carpets throughout and I've got them covered. Um, <clears throat> nice thing is, is they're uh, a nylon carpet and all the dirt just goes down to the bottom and doesn't really show up. Um, but when you clean it, uh, boy, the water is filthy. Um, these couches, it had a stain on it and it came up pretty easily. Oh, these blinds are nice. I like them. These guys open up. It takes a little bit of effort. Ah! You can see. It's got a CD player, DVD, uh, sound system, sounds really good. Got this uh, Cuisinart uh, microwave slash uh, oven. You can actually uh, bake things in this. Got a heating element in it. And uh, my rods have mounted up here. Um, there's three different banks of lights. Turn them 
one for you. Um, up here you've got this kind of blue light, which is nice. This is kind of a silky material. Beam on this thing is awesome. It's 13 feet. Uh, and I put in a uh, inverter system with a uh, shitload of golf cart batteries. Um, this thing will go all night. Um, it'll run just about all the systems, uh, not all at once, but. Uh, Heard a lot of people say, oh, you should never hook a water heater up to the inverter and it's hooked up and it works. And so you just can't listen to everybody. Okay, back out to that cockpit. Love the barbecue. It's a huge magma Monterey. I had these uh, rocket launchers, stainless steel, put on. Probably do pull-ups on this bar, it's so solid. I like the stairs. Uh, I got nice uh, non-skid with a raised lip. Um, these I've never slipped on these stairs at all. Uh, the stainless steel uh, railings are solid. Uh, real happy with that. Uh, these doors are heavy. They're tinted. Um, pretty sure they're double paned. Lights work great. I'm not going to show you the engine room. Uh, it's huge and uh, you can get to everything very easily. I like the boat. It's, uh, you know, it's not a, a fishing battle wagon where, you know, uh, everything is, is really solid and made to last. Um, you know, you, I'm going to have to uh, take care of this thing to, to make it last, but uh, I think it will. So uh, I'm going to shut this thing down now and pull anchor and get underway, I'm going to attempt to mount this GoPro on the side of the boat. So we'll see you in a bit.